Hey guys, MC still here, and uh, in the last episode we finished off here, so let's go! Now, let's see how we play this game. Um, oh, crap, 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 crap. Alright, uh, what are we going to do? Because this is a stealthy game, we need to creep up behind them. Let's go into this building, to be honest, so that we can, like, evade them. Uh, let's pick up this, what's on the floor there. Can I pick it up? Oh, ration. I think that's how you pronounce it, ration. So it's basically... Oh, crap. Uh, I think it's just health. Uh, can, whoa. Random cutscene, what's gonna happen? Okay, a random truck pulling up. Why are there so many men? I don't understand properly. Like, why they are like, coming into this world. Why this location? Why not Afghanistan, huh? Huh? Answer me that, bruh. Answer me that. Let's go through here. Ooh, what's that before my eyes? Some more compress. So I think it's just medicine. Effective against muscle aches, sore joints, and bruises. Re restores psych when used. Open the item window and press the OK button to use. Alright. Seems pretty Avoid unnecessary basic. Never possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point oh, wow. in you getting into a fight. Got it? Yeah, disappear, mate. What are you doing, sir? Get up! There's nothing there! What the are you doing? There you go. Yeah. Move. Get, get, get out of my way. See, I, lo I love how this suit just camouflages. What are you doing, sir? Stop staring into thin air. He's gonna spot me, isn't he? There we are. Let's crawl into this room now. <gasps> Oh my, what the heck happened there? Did his body just get flung over or something? That was crazy. Any awesome loot around here? Nope. Well, yeah. I think we just picked it all up, so let's go through this little gap. Please don't shoot! Oh, painful hits to the face there, guys. Peak times. He was like, oh, don't shoot! And yeah. You get shot thousand, well, loads of times. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna kill that dude for killing him. No, I, I ain't allowing that. No, no, mate. You know what I'm gonna do? Ooh, stunned his body. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, that's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm gonna do to this guy's body now. Let's just quickly get to him. <gasps> Damn! Was he the only one alerted? Phew. Yeah. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Alright, uh, okay, that's great. The PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. Why? There was some way to get rid of the locks. That sucks, you know. Let's check all of these. Anything interesting? What about the last one? Wow. Oh, okay. Regain. Tasty beverage with rejuvenating properties. Restores life and psych. That's great. Even though I don't know what psych is. Uh, is that everything now? Let's just crouch. Uh, which way are we going? That way, I think. Alright, let's just go this way. There we are. Did that pretty successfully and quite fast. We're only four minutes into the game, no cutscenes or anything so far, that's good. Pure gameplay there, guys. Snake, press the crawl button while running to execute a roll. Rolling can help you dodge enemy attacks and get past small gaps and obstacles. Alright, cheers for that, mate. Uh, shall I kill this dude? Shall I? Shall I? Hmm. Uh-oh. What? Damn. What the enemy? Shut your mouth, mate. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're on your own. Um, is it still straight? Oh, wasn't expecting that. <gasps> Damn, there's a guy. Uh, I should be fine now. I'm in like the corners and stuff, so. Should, shouldn't be too hard to get past these guys. As long as I stay in each corner. <gasps> Damn. 
Uh oh. Yeah, keep on walking. I don't see how they don't even notice my face or hair, you know? Because you see how that's blatantly white and grey? It's crazy. Peace out. Alright, let's go. Let's leg it. Let's move. Oh. Which way is it now? Uh. Crap, if he sees me, I swear. <sighs> Phew. Hello, little fella. What are you? It's me, Snake. Snake, it's me. Huh? Otacon. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear? That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Mm, wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the solid eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. Oh, 3D, guys. 3D! Light amplifying night vision. Oh my, what the heck's happening outside? The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. <sighs> Finally, a weapon that's actually silenced, guys. It's amazing. Now I can go with those stealthy kills. Operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. How oh, thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. Oh, that's pretty beast. That the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Okay, so if I press start, it should bring up him then, I think. Let's just give that a go. Yep, pistol and the operator and the solid eye. And the marked hole. Um, how do you bring up that thing? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, damn. Let's just wait for them. I actually need to change my batteries in my turtle beaches, so let's just remove this battery and place this one in. There we go. Doesn't take much time at all. Alright, let's go. So, which way are we going? 
we need to head down this way. Let's just pick that up. Whatever it is. Uh, hopefully there's no guys behind me. Wow, I'm just standing up like, like I'm a numpter. So many bombs on my... Oh, Can we sneak inside here? Damn! Did not want to be caught. Oh my goodness. Get me out of here. Ah! Oh, did you see that? That was amazing. Nah, let's not kill them. They're all shy. Well, not shy, but they're all just running away, so just leave them. Which way? Which way do I go? Down here? Yeah, down there. Oh, that was lucky, you know. Very lucky I could have died. Don't know how I escaped in time, but yeah. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. Night vision incoming. That's cool. That's a that's amazing. Enemy there. Let's shock him with my stun knife. Come here, you. Alright, let's get this ration. There we are. Almost this glowing right there. It's mine, whatever it is. I think it was ammo. Anesthetic. <gasps> Crap. Wow, that was so cool. I killed that both of them in one hit. Anymore? Oh, it's like glowing there. Looks like a chicken. Oh, they are chickens. Okay. Stay by the wall. Beautiful escape there. Is he making the come as well? Yep. Whoa! Oh my! Oh, did you know? You're a clever one, aren't you? Wow, look at all these weapons. Just all laying on the floor. Mine! 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 I think he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Let's use my anesthetic to kill him. Damn, there we are. I wonder if my night vision is like unlimited. If so, then that's awesome. Oh, we found some music here. Uh, damn, there's a guy. I think he's aware that I'm here, so let's just take him out. There we are, reload that. Right, there's gotta be, yeah, I knew it. There's gotta be a few guys in here. You're hearing things. Damn, they saw me. Let's get out of here. She's my anesthetic. I don't really want to kill anyone. So that's why I prefer using anesthetics to kill people. Come on there, mate. The here. Well, who, who, no one can hear you, so I don't know why you're saying that. I actually want to take... Oh, damn. Put to sleep. Can we pick that up? Whatever it is. Equipped to hide under the box and hide from enemies. Woo! Alright, let's just take their weapons first. Alright, let's be quiet now, guys. Very, very quiet. I wanna take. Oh, damn. I wanna take off my. Um, if I can. My night vision. What's binos? Oh, binocular. Okay. Hmm. Are they just gonna stand around here? Because. This is gonna be quite a long time. I think they're just gonna stay there, you know, so. If we get off that. Wait, if we actually lie down, that's a good idea. And then crawl. There we are. 
Yeah. A box. Ah, can't pick it up. All right, let's go through here now. Damn. And they saw me. There we go. Put to sleep. And now your mate's gonna be put to sleep. There we are. Milichi, ah, oh. he's gonna die. Not even dying. He's gonna get. Wow, I'm shooting anesthetics and they're bleeding out. That's weird. It's very weird indeed. What's through here? Anyone? Hello. And the why would you use a bomb? But yeah, I have it. Look at that little monkey. Drinking coke. Well, drinking mock. As usual. E man, I don't like what he's wearing. Doesn't look gay at all. Not even on an animal. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> Take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. BM4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Hmm. Trigger. Really? That's weird. 
What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, neither. You've got last-gen nano machines, So I'm guessing... Former U.S. Army? <laughs> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. Strictly business it is. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for services. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And... I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Now you can use non-ID guns, no problem. Hey, 
Be nice to our guests. Step outside. Boom. That apple is almost as big as his head. There you see, no problem. From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. <clears throat> These burps are so weird. Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. I don't know anyone who burps like that, like, like seriously. Pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. More like... We're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then, if you need me, holler. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. Okie dokie, so we now have a way on unlocking guns, which is good. Now oh, we can use better guns. But the gun that I have at the moment is alright, you know. One bullet, one kill. In the head, anyways. I think it's one bullet, one kill in the head. So there's not really a good reason for me to unlock even better weapons or buy better weapons. Oh, what a long cutscene that was. And what the heck is that grasshopper? I think it is. What a random grasshopper. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon. You and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. 
I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Meet up yet? Yeah, Alright. And focus them. And yeah, we're off. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Whoa, I'm stuck. Alright, so the only way across is straight through. Okay. Uh, let's go over the stairs and uh, get closer to our checkpoint. Is it this way? What's that glow in there? Missile launcher. Oh, that's gonna create so much commotion. Don't really want that, do I? Oh, I don't think so. But at least I'm making quite a lot of points. Whoa. Alright, anyways, let's just stay on track. Which way is it? Is it down there? I think I'll die if I actually went down there, so... Yeah, about that. Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here, you know? I think that... The only reason why I should have gone up there is to get those weapons, you know? What's that thing beep bleeping? Careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second. All right, mate. Let's get up here. Oh my, two guys, two guys, two guys. Get out, get out. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, sad times, mate. Let's steal your guns and saw them. Now, that was really sad, though. The way they just died. Sad times, guys. Extremely sad times. I think I'm going backwards, you know. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> First time that's happened. Let's ascend on ground. Oh. Can I, like, hug the wall? Or something like that. Damn. Hug the wall. Alright, let's just go across. Ugh. Why are they at war? Like, seriously. What's happened to peace? There we are, and now let's just drop down. Woo! Get up here. Make sure we don't bump into anyone. There we are. That's how it's handled, guys. Huh? What the heck? That's disgusting. What's he doing in there? Who's there? Go away! I'm not done yet. Oh my! It's disgusting. Stop right there! No! Get back here! Get back here! What's he thinking? Is he thinking of hiding under there or something? Well, it's so big compared to him when he's crouched.
Okay, I think he's gonna like use it to hide or something. Yep, equip it to hide inside. Damn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Heading to Drebin's shop for ammo, custom parts, and ID free weapons. Okay. How'd you do that now? Drebin's shop. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Alright, I wanna see what the handguns are like. And silences as well. Can you buy like Oh wow, you can buy those. Oh, I'll buy a ton. But they're pretty much useless, so Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, here are some suppressors. But let's not Oh crap, enemies. Let's not use them now. We'll use them later. Uh, let's just go. I'm a little ninja. You can't see me. Sad times, mate. Where's our backup? You have no backup. Which way? Should we go up the stairs? Let's have a look what's up here. Ascend higher! And higher! No time to the dent. Here. What? What? What are you doing? No, I am not up here. No. You're seeing things. Oh, I think they know I'm here. Alright. I should use my anesthetics to kill them then. You know, just kill him. Well, that took a while for him to, for it to kick in, didn't it? It's a striker. The PMCs have sent reinforcements. Now their defensive line is a lot thicker. It's gonna be tougher to break through. That striker will be shooting at you too. Stay on your toes. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Yep, just done so, mate. What's gonna happen with these guys now? They got yes, thank you. Oh, that's so unlucky. For them at least. Alright, so where do we need to go? Wow. I swear if he Oh my Come on, quick, 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 quick. Oh my, I'm getting consecutively hit. Oh my days, quit moving, mate. Uh oh. There we are, I think he's done. Let's just go. Oh my days, where did they spy me from? Yeah, screw you, mate. I'm just going. See you later. Eddie Gator. Damn, you know what I should do? Oh my goodness. Take some ration. Ration. Don't you dare. Come on, kick in. There we are. Which way now? Oh, no, 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 no. There we are, he's put to sleep. Oh, no. No, no, this is not happening. Come on! That's the bad thing about the, this weapon though. If you get spotted, it takes ages for the guy to die. Wonder if I'm hidden now? Uh, 
Ja, ich bin hinten. Ich bin hinten. Ist er ein Helikopter? Snake! PMC Airstrike! What are you on about? My days! Too many explosions! Yeah, it's putting to sleep. Alright, quickly leg it. Damn, where, where are they coming from? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, my health, my health, my health, my health. Whoa! You know what? You know what? Screw this. I'm going at the big boy weapon now. M4. I love how the camera like shakes and stuff in that mode. Take some more Russian. And GCFO, I'm getting out of here, man. How the heck do I escape? Here we are. Please tell me there's a door. How do I get through here? Oh no, it looks like I'm screwed into ooze. Let's just get out my... Why is it saying I can't use anything? <gasps> what did I die? Oh. My. Wait. Well, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen that happen. Okay, I gotta play safe now. Extremely safe. Quit shooting me, man. You know how annoying that is. Oh no. Is that it? Nope. They're not it. I think they're just gonna continually spawn out of that room, you know. You see? Right, I, I need to get out. No! Combat high. I don't even know what that means. Well, I can't use. Whoa. Mark II is more than just a communications terminal. It's got a lot of other functions as well. Oh wow. Taking it for a spin. Ah. What it can do. That's so cool. Oh. Can you electrocute people? Ah, that's so cool. Woo! I'm invincible. Oh, oh. Whee! This is amazing. Uh-oh. Alright, let's get out of him. I've had enough fun with that. <laughs> wow, there he is. How did you get behind me, man? Oh, no. Come on. Which way? Which way? Which way do I go? 
Oh, I've made it. Phew. That door. It was that door. It was just that one door. That took forever to find. Oh my, it took like 20 minutes to get to that door. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's go. Now, please, James, please try to do this stealthily. Let's pick up that gun on the floor. Wow, this is like some abandoned place, isn't it? Uh, which way should we go, guys? Let's let's have a look around. Uh, should we go up? Yep, yeah, let's go up to another floor. Dead end! Looks like I can't get through. Alright, what about the other place, like, here? Can we get through? See, look, we can't even get through here. No, there's no way. Nothing at all. Well, wait, let's go down. Was there, like, another door? Oh, we can't go for it though. Oh, another one of those doors? Those little doors, man. Ah, oh, they make things so much more complicated. Because on this game, it's like you have a fixed route, so you actually have to find that fixed route. Makes things so much more harder. <gasps> Damn. Should we crawl? Let's cut the floor. Oh, that's really good. Look at my camouflage. It's like 95. Uh oh. Slow it now. Damage. Which way do we go? I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not there, okay? Oh, I just vanished through a door. I'm nowhere to be seen. Alright, so we're supposed to go. We are supposed to go through here. Somewhere through here, though. But I can't evade, I can't get through this stuff. And I've went upstairs. Both the areas are weird. Weirdly blocked. You see? We can't get through there, we can't get through there. And then when we go all the way up here. We can't get through, there's no chance of us getting through that. See, I thought we could be at least be able to climb it. For now, the game's just been lame. Alright, because we can't get through there, let's just go down. Doing gambles all the way down. There's no secret doors, is there? Like, hidden doors. Don't think so. Woohoo! Yeah, no way of getting into there. I'm not supposed to go through that door. What if? Whoa! Where did that come from? That was so random. What the heck? I definitely need some ration now. Oh my goodness, is it like a land a landmine or something? <gasps> Playboy, oh yeah. Have a look. Can't get through there. Can't even jump over it. Hmm. 
Oh, that looks like you can push it. But you can't. What's the rare, mate? Oh, old age, eh? Why they get difficult? Alright, so which way do we go? I don't know. I swear, I, w I just want to shoot things out of the way now. Get out of the way! Let's get back to my custom. Now, this is wasting time now. Uh, we, c we know we can't go upstairs, so I don't know why I'm thinking that. Um, it's definitely not through that door. Why am I wanting to go upstairs? I'm thinking I've missed something. And why am I picking up this random dude's body? No, just... What's that? Okay. Ammo. Uh, oh. I think he's out of breath, you know? Sorry for making you walk all the way up here for nothing, mate. I know. I know we can't get through. I know. <laughs> Why did I take you up there? I really don't know. Let's go down. Come on, man. There's more... There's more... Where that came from. Okay. I'm gonna keep you in fit condition. Everywhere we go, we gamble. You see? No, nope, no, nope, no excuses on that. Nope. You're back. An excuse. But how... Do we get... There. That is the question. Who would put all this rubbish there? No, just no. But why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. So did I. And then switch to night vision just to see if we can find any footprints. See, look, there's footprints here. Wait, are they mine? Oh, they are as well. Wow. But is there any other footprint? Oh, what was that white thing, Larry? Noodles. <sighs> I'll have some noodles later. Uh, hmm. <gasps> Whoa. I'm guessing that's going to explode, you know. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, finally we made it. What's this projectile? Oh no! I knew that was a claymore. I knew it. Come on! Get up, Snake. What are you doing? No time to rest. I know you've been doing tons and tons of backflips. Not backflips. Of oh, forward rolls, but no, no, no. No, it's not the time. To rest up. We're gonna keep you active. Another claymore. Oh my! Come on! <laughs> uh, I think I need to take better care of him. Which way? Yay! Smoke grenade! Yay! Oh wow! Snake, I'm detecting a trap in your vicinity. Oh. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of volatile sleep gas. Trigger it, and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. All right. Do you expect me to crawl under it then? <laughs> Will I be able to crawl under? I don't think so. You know. I really don't think so. Okay. Let's go back. Let's try and see if there's any other way. <gasps> Whoa! What the flip, man? All I wanted was my noodles. And then... Uh, an explosion happens. I think I will be able to climb under it, to be honest. I'm picking up a faint radio signal from that thing. I'm guessing it might be transmitting its operating status in real time. I'd leave those sensors alone if I were you. Hmm. Uh, 
Alright, before trying to go under it, let's just see what's around here. Yeah, we know we can't go through there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna try and go under it. Or can I gallop my way through it? Like, we are. Let's go, kaboom. 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 I don't think I'll be able to do it, you know. Just ignore those infrared sensors. Find a way around them. <sighs> oh, ignore them. All right. Snake, I told you not to bother. <laughs> Don't mess with it. Okay, okay. Keep your air on. Uh, if if I can't mess with it, then what do I do? What exactly do I do? Uh, see, I can't go round. Because all of this stupid stuff is in the way. What's up here? Ah, oh, I can't go up. Damage. Alright, we are aware that this is a restroom. I've been through it many times. Why am I still here? I don't know. I bet, I bet that dude's gonna be like, what are you doing, James? I told you, stay away. I bet I can do something through it. Come on, man. I know, I know you're old, but... Uh, I don't think I can gallop my way through. It really appears to be my only option, though. You can't disarm those. Ignore them. Move on. But, 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 I can't just ignore them. No, seriously, what do I do? I am really confused now. Because there's nothing in this room. Is there? That, that, nothing at all. No. It's completely empty. And we can't go the other way either. Let's go. Ah, oh, careful. See, who tries this? Who's trying to? Who just put them at? Who, who put that there? Like, seriously, mate? No, just no. Okay, kitchen time. Where is the... Where is the cookies? I want some food. <sighs> Alright, if we go around here, to this door, and see what's here. This looks like a better area to go into. Keep on going. Hey, phone. Buy my rune five. Yeah, let's not go that way. Let's stay close to our checkpoint, which is in the top right hand corner. So I think we need to go to the right. What's that? Ammo. I'm like so, so close to my destination. It's like right here. Ration. Claymore. more. Music. Woo. Uh, what's through here? 
something on the floor. We're going in circles, aren't we? For flip's sake. Okay. Oh my days, no, just no. Alright, the sound of my footsteps are so annoying now. Ugh. To turn it down, don't I? What is our objective? What are we actually trying to find? I have no idea at all. I wonder if with those steps that we found before, if there's another level. <gasps> Careful. Yep, yep. All right, we're getting somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, last stairs now. Last stairs. Finally. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he just gets put to sleep. It's crazy. So they are quite effective, to be honest. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. E easy now. Don't move! You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. What an amazing transition there from Snake. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move! CQC. Real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon! Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. into your face. Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh, that's so sad to have, you know. Accelerated oh. aging. Being a teenager and looking like an old man. Or my informant in the US military. Sad times. And you must be the inspector sent by the UN. Commander! Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team 01. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. 
Oh my goodness. You okay? Diarrhea. Stomach pains. Oh, diarrhea. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> we both think it's diarrhea. It probably is. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. So one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Hello, Ed. Where's Ed and Eddie? The giant is Jonathan. What the heck? Where is Jonathan? Behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander. Akiba. I've finished installing the sensors. Whoa. Why Akiba? It's a bit weird. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? <laughs> I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. Hmm, I'm sure I am injected with that as well, aren't I? Track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs, 
Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. La le lu le lo. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the US military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. That's pretty interesting. Okay. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell. Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Oh my, someone needs to calm down, don't they?
Little violation of the need to know role. Then. Why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. He, uh, remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? <sighs> There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. His private troops. Oh my. This doesn't look good, guys. What's gonna happen, oh my? This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Akiba! They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. Let's go. I'm liking the music so far. an epic entrance guys eye contact these guys are with liquid's private army shoot first think later we'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor <laughs> we'll change the route as necessary i'm on point stay close got it got it, got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! We can do this, team. Wow, why is his body like glowing? Oh my, there's ninjas aren't there? Damn, are they chucking up grenades in here? Wow, I can't see anything. There we are, come on. Die. How many bullets? Ah, oh, P90, you know. How good is that? I'm having that. Thank you very much. Let's just change to my P90. Oh, wait, I think it needs something like to be honest. Wait, we can do it now, can't we? Alright, driving shop. Oh, a sniper rifle.
Right, if we just get a submachine gun, doesn't matter what. Can we even afford one? I think we can. Damage E. You know, let's just buy... Hmm, this one. Uh, do we need bullets for it as well? <laughs> Funny guy. Okay. Where is my gun? Alright, let's just stick with this then. Oh my. I don't like this gun, it's horrible. It's so cool how they like stick it to the ground. Oh, wow, not the ground, the ceiling. Yeah. I'm fine, I'm not injured. Whoa. Oh my. Guys! Why isn't anyone assisting me? Take some ration. I think there's a guy behind me now. Where are they? Where'd they go? Uh oh. Wow, their armor is so strong. Oh my, reload! Oh my days! I think I'm supposed to go all the way down and just escape. Where's the next set stairs?
with you!
Hey. The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. 
Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Merrill. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Merrill told us, liquid should be there. <laughs>